Bill O'Reilly talking about gender issues is going to be the funniest thing you'll hear all day. Now, I know, I know you probably thought about this very much, Kirsten. Oh, yeah. There's got to be some downside to having a woman president, right? Something. Something that, that may not fit with that office. Correct? Run the rest. Run the rest. Mm, I'm going to say no, Bill. So there's no, <laughs> there's no downside the, to having a woman. What, and, and just, just because you're female, that it would something. Uh, well, let me ask you this. What's the downside of a man being president? Oh, do you got three? Do you got three years? <laughs> I mean, look at the guys we've had in there since. <laughs> but 18, is that because they're men, or is it because of the people that are in the, office? Look, men are certain men are men, and women are women, and there's a difference. Okay, there's a difference between the genders. Now, men, uh, they're tied up, and a lot of them in their macho image and, and that kind of thing, and they, they act like you're not going to push me around. That could be a deficit. You know, they're not as kind of open to a uh, sensitive discussion maybe as women? There's gotta be a downside for a woman. Do you know one? Uh, you know, I'm having a tough time with this one too, Bill. I think that depends on the individual. Of course, there's a downside to certain individual women. Um, you know, but just in like general, a, you, you both don't see any don't gender deficiency all all to lead men. the free world. I've literally not once in my life agreed with Kate Obenchain until right now. I mean, what she said is the obvious right answer. It depends on the individual. I mean, imagine he asked that question about another group of people. There's got to be a downside to having a Jew in office. No? No? What's the downside for Jews? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? There's got to be a downside to have a black in office. Am I right, people? I mean, a black in office? I mean, what's going on here? Such generalized questions are so stupid, just by their nature, because it's such, it's such a simpleton's approach to thinking. Like, you're admitting you're willing to think in these gross, broad strokes, just like, this group is X. What is that? What, what is that about? And that's not to say, and this is an important point, that's not to say that there aren't some definitive differences between men and women, very broadly speaking. So, for example... Men have dicks, women have vaginas. On average, our testosterone levels are higher and their estrogen levels are higher. Our physical statures, uh, obviously, on average, they, they're very different. So, yes, there are some hardcore biological differences, but as apart from the simple, hard biological differences, it's not like he acts like we all speak Hindi and they speak Swahili. And we're like, I don't understand. What what are you saying or doing? Is that is that some sort of sign you're trying to give me? I I need some uh, sort of interpreter here that speaks woman. <laughs>